Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by for yet another video. I do appreciate that and as always I appreciate you. So what we have here is a strong eruption at Shevelich Volcano ash to 10,000 kilometers roughly 33,000 feet. Now you can hear you see a still photo here. We do have some cool videos I'm going to show you in just a minute. However, it says after a long period of relative calm. Now, haven't we been hearing that a lot? Especially with it seems like all these inactive volcanoes, all of a sudden are starting to wake up. You know, it seems like uh, like we keep saying in most a lot of these videos. You know, Mother Earth is definitely going through some changes, and she's not happy right now. You know, uh, it's been weather chaos um, throughout 2017. Like, and I, you know, I don't want to see what what 2018 holds as far as weather goes because it seems like everything's getting strong storms are getting stronger more volcanoes are erupting and uh, more wildfires and it just it's getting crazy right now as far as natural disasters and weather goes but um, it does go on to say that after a long period of relative calm a powerful explosion eruption occurred at the Shevelich uh, volcano in Kamchatka Russia at about 2100 UTC on December 4, 2017. So the eruption lasted roughly 20 minutes and sent an ash plume as high as 33,000 feet above sea level into the sky. Now it says the aviation color code remains at orange. Now just 17 minutes after the eruption started, KVERT said that the video data show an ash plume rising up to about 26,000 to 29,500 feet. Um, the edge of the ash plume or cloud was about 6.2 miles northeast of the crater. So satellite imagery acquired about 2240 UTC showed an ash plume extending 79 miles to the northeast. So here is uh, one video here. It's about a 30 second video. We'll play that real quick. Now as you're watching that, it says the eruption caused pyroclastic flows as well that traveled approximately uh, 0.6 to 1.2 miles down the southwest slope um, and gave rise to lahars that traveled down up to 1.8 miles. So it wasn't just the ash plume that was being spewed, but also pyroclastic flow um, was also detected um, and lahars as well. But there you have it for that one. Now here's a second video. We'll take a quick look at it. This is just a 13 second video. And it goes on to say that the explosive, extrusive eruption of the volcano continues. Kvert said that adding that the ash explosions of up to 32,800 to 49,000 feet could occur at any time. Ongoing activity could affect international and low flying aircraft. So we'll watch this video here one more time of the eruption. You know, and this is still an ongoing eruption too. Uh, I don't know about the pyroclastic flows, if that's still, or the lahars, I don't know if those are still um, being spewed out as well as the ash or not. But, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be about it. If you'd like to read the rest of this article, the link is always in the description. Um, so this is an ongoing event, so as updates come out, I'll definitely get those out to you guys as well. Um, but, um, you know, let's see here. Like I said, it says that um, there was some pyroclastic flows, you know, ash being spewed up to 33,000 feet. Um, so, you know, as the updates come in, I'll get those out to you guys for sure. But thank you for, um, you know, supporting the channel and watching these videos. We're growing every single day because of you guys, and I can't appreciate that enough. But other than that, be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. And as always, check that bell notification too, so you'll get my videos as soon as they're uploaded. But um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.